level. Wanna cry? Two cute little S's. Hello everyone, we are getting ready for quiet time. So far today, we got up and had breakfast, then we did school, we worked on the letter S a lot because he was doing them backwards a little bit. And then I decided to do sea turtles for us. So we did a big sea turtle seashell craft, so that's two S's. And we invited Jax to join us, we all made some seashell sea turtles. Seashell sea turtles. You only made one, Jackson. I only made one because I was mostly gluing your guys' together. Jack did two, and you did two. So that was really cute and fun. Okay, stop talking over me. I'd be really bummed if I had to film this segment again because nobody could hear anything. When two people talk at the same time, nobody can be heard. Anyway, then I asked Danny if he would like to order from the deli for lunch. A lot of times he'll say no, that's just the money we have food here. But he's been working so hard and like missing lunch because he works straight through it. I was like, I hope he said yes because I really want to treat him to a nice warm, yummy meal. And he said yes. And luckily they're very fast from this place. So everybody got some food. What did you have? Um, we had chicken and broccoli bowl. Uh -huh. And what did you have for your side? Um, Fruit salad. Yeah. And it came with a cookie. Yeah. Yeah. They're supposed to have a cookie with every kid's meal, but we only got one. So I don't know what was up with that. But then Jax chose a loaded baked potato and broccoli for his side. I got a pick two. You don't get a side, but it was a big baked potato and I got a veggie sandwich. You get half a sandwich and Danny chose an Italian sandwich and some veggie chili. So everything was right except for the missing cookie, but it's okay. We half the time don't get any cookies with the kids' meal, so this little guy is tired. He's been a little cranky, moody, I'd say moody. He's a teenager right now. He'll love you hard, but then he'll growl if you step on him or something. He's just cranky, and he really hates that the FedEx truck keeps driving by the house. But you're interrupting? Is this important, or can you wait? I love you. I love you too. Nice save. Anyway, we're going to do quiet time, then I'll probably do my daily painting time. I don't know what I'm going to charge for those, but if it's only $100, that probably wouldn't be worth my time because that's like, if it takes a week, I'm lucky to do a big painting like that. And then if I was to only charge $100, you'll have to subtract about. 10 to $15 for supplies. 
And then you have to subtract the tax. I'll eventually pay off of that. I don't know what, holy moly, what the hell is going on in here, dude? I'm gonna get a big old trash bag and that's how I'm gonna clean it up. You better do some work on there during quiet time. <laughs> anyway, that would bring my profit for a work week's worth of work, probably like 20 hours way down i don't know what to to like 50 dollars or something and that's just not sustainable so i don't know i don't think i don't know what people would be willing to pay but i'm gonna do these two samples and give them to the people maybe ask their opinions on what they would think it was worth i'm not gonna charge them get some referrals and then decide if i'm gonna go from there for them i'm using mostly supplies i already had thrifted canvases and Leftover paint. I did have to just order new paint, but yeah, so I'll do that later. I just got some supplies for Jax's birthday ordered, and yeah, nothing else. I had mixed up some hair last night, and I thought I was gonna like it, but this morning I just hate it. It was like periwinkle and peach and a blonde, and I just do not like it. So I'm gonna take the peach out of that and just do periwinkle and blonde and then I'll decide if I want to do a row of peach to have it mixed in but not mixed in or a different color I don't even know I just don't even know oh maybe I have silver with rainbow tinsel I can add in so maybe I can do that if I want to do tinsel again it does get really staticky though in the future, I want to order a color that has opal tinsel in it and it's a gradient. Hopefully she'll still have it when I place an order, but I don't know. But I haven't started yet and I'm hating these roots because they are so dark blonde because I have not been outside. I dash out to my car wearing a hat because it's freezing, so there has been no sun on this at all, but this is getting very ratty and I need to start breeding. All right. That was a big update. I'll have less to say tonight. So I'm gonna go put this hair up. And Spooky Skeleton and I are gonna do quiet time and maybe I'll even finally turn on my Animal Crossing after a week and pick the 40 million freaking weeds that are gonna be out there, right? Anything else to say to people? Uh-uh. Say I love you, everyone. Ooh. <laughs> 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 All right, guys, see you on the other side of quiet time.
everyone. It is bedtime. It's a little past because I was finishing up some Animal Crossing and then we cleaned, right? And you were finishing a show. Mm -hmm. Is it all clean in here? Why is it clean? We need to clean up. Why do we need to clean up? Because I won't get my new legacy. Are you cashing in some of your points? So well, all of your points to get a legacy? Well, Daddy says you can get it even though you don't have enough. So we're just going to put you to zero. And then you'll start earning again. You, get, you should get, get, you should just get all me. No, we're going to use your points. You always, <laughs> I don't have to always get Nice even try. Even You're going to pay $10. We're going to pay $7. <laughs> Is that good? Is that a deal? Okay, deal. <laughs> He's been loving his three-in-one Lego sets and he just keeps building them and building them and rebuilding them and rebuilding them. So he's putting his money towards a set. I looked up what was available at dinner tonight and the best one right now that's not, that's like under $20 is the motorcycle one that was normally $20 but on sale for $16.99. So Danny said go with that one. Since he's five and he shouldn't have to pay for everything. <laughs> but we are going to use his allowance points. He has about $10 worth. He's been saving it up since before Christmas. <sighs> okay, so I talked to you at quiet time. I have this feeling like I'm in a hiccup and I'm waiting for it, and I think it's just my microbiome prolapse being weird. So if I sound like I'm about to burp or hiccup, it's just this weird chest feeling. But I did end up doing Animal Crossing and I'm glad I did. I am only currently on the 23rd of January and I went ahead and skipped an like, entire week so that everybody's like, long time no see. <laughs> and there was a solid 30 weeds that I had to pick. But after I did that, I designed another one of my villagers' homes. This is number three. I did Roscoe. Everybody's getting an Asian exterior in colors that I think suit them and the interior I'm keeping on their theme but everybody's getting a studio like an alcove studio apartment so they have a kitchen like a kitchenette and a living room area and a little bed alcove and mm, I love them I need to film them and put them in here because it's making me really happy I haven't gone to my job on the island designing homes <laughs> since Christmas, I think. Oops. Since unlocking the ability to do my villagers homes. But I'm just enjoying it. So I'm happy that I did that finally after a week of not playing. But we went downstairs as usual at 4.30. I went straight down to get my painting time in. As you saw, I did the base coat of all of Brandy's fur. And yeah, her ears and her body. I got the base coat on. Did I do anything else? No, I think it was just that. I started doing the second layer on her body. It's blurred from the depth of field. So that's different than I'm used to. I'm not used to doing like blurry fur, but I think I got the second layer done and I always do like another two layers of detail work, but maybe it won't need two layers since that's blurry. So I did that, and then I made dinner, running low on, on things to make, but we went with spaghetti, I had spaghetti and pizza, and Danny chose the pasta option. So I made that, and then headed downstairs because I wanted to get the hinge attached on that cake club set, didn't film it, just quickly screwed into the wood. They don't drill you holes or anything. I had to use an X-Acto knife to make a pilot hole. But it worked. I got it completely done myself. I didn't need Danny's help this time, so go me. And I just need to make some more things for the shelves and do the wiring, but I need batteries. Okay, what else? Yeah, then I went upstairs and I did Animal Crossing a little bit more because I was like, I want to do one more design. And I also want to move forward today so I can see Roscoe's apartment. 
and he was at home. They're never home when I design them, so I can't go in and see, but he was the crafter. If you play, you know, but basically it means he had a little workbench in his house and he was building things, but the workbench replaces a piece of furniture of the same size, so his whole music studio gaming console desk was gone and he was building on this ugly standard DIY table. I'm like, womp womp. Didn't get the full effect, so I'll have to check it out later. But then I chose Coco's house to do. She has a cute house, but it's just so bare. I feel bad for her. She's like, it's like hut in the bush kind of level of furnishings, which is cute and an aesthetic, but she gets a studio apartment too. So she went with a tropical coconut vibe. It's a little breezy resort room. I love it. Hopefully she does tomorrow when she gets it. Uh, that's it. I don't know why I'm smiling because I'm still kind of messed up, but it's a better day today. It's okay. We had fun doing our craft and stuff. But a friend is messaging me about homeschooling her daughter for kindergarten next year, and that's just making it all come crashing back that I have to put them in next year. She's like, isn't that kind of bad timing? I'm like, well, it was going to be this year. Which is even worse, but I guess that's everything I need to say. I've already I'd be repeating myself otherwise, so I'm gonna go get myself changed because I am still dressed even though I don't leave the house except to get the mail. I might go to the grocery store though tomorrow. If Danny's not planning on going and I can give him a list, I probably should be the one to go. I need to get like cake stuff. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if I'm up for peopling. If it was warmer, like warmer being a little bit above freezing, I would go and walk with Sebastian, but I just can't walk when it's like 30 degrees. It's no fun. We might get a little bit of snow, but I think it's like a huge blizzard that's gonna head up towards like New York and we're just gonna get flurries or dusting or something. We'll see if it changes, but. Yeah, all the snow lovers here are bummed that we're not getting three feet like we have in some years past. For a while we've had quite the snow drought, but I'm fine without it. Sebastian loves playing with it, so for him, it's fine, and I guess I don't need to go anywhere, so I don't need to complain. I moved things in here, because I want to put that tea shop right up there, so every time I go into my closet, I'm happy that I see it. But I think that's it. You want to show them before? Cool. All right, get whoever's saying goodnight because I think I'm done and I need to get changed. So yeah, everybody, thanks for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you're new here, my name is Stephanie. I make a video every night because I'm crazy. This is Sebastian and Fluffy and we're here to say goodnight and we'll see you tomorrow. Stay safe, be kind, and don't forget, wash your hands.